Today, we're going to talk about a nutrient called benfotamine, and this is a synthetic B1. B1 is naturally water-soluble. This is a fat-soluble B1, and yes, it is made synthetically, but this is one of the only synthetic vitamins that I would recommend because it has virtually no side effects. And I believe every single diabetic should be taking benfotamine. And here's why. Because vitamin B1 is intimately involved in the little mini engine in your mitochondria that involves the glucose metabolism. And the more glucose that you have running through that machine, the higher the blood sugar, the more depleted of B1 you're going to become. And with diabetics, there's four main tissues that are involved. The nerves and brain, the eyes, the kidney, and the heart vessels. And it just so happens that benfotamine can help you with each one of them. Now, because benfotamine is fat soluble, it can penetrate three to five times deeper into the nerves and your brain, and it can really create some really cool effects. Its main function is it protects against oxidation. And this is really the, the, the problem with diabetes. You have so much glucose involved that the amount of oxidation is so high, you're getting all sorts of free radical damage, you're getting complications, all the tissues start breaking down simply because of the oxidation of glucose. Well, any type of B1 will counter that, but benfotamine goes a little bit deeper. Benfotamine will also reduce advanced glycation end products. Now, what is that? When you combine glucose with the protein or glucose with the fat under heat, you start creating these, these sticky proteins. Now, your body can make these or you can consume them in certain foods. So if you took like barbecued ribs, for example, where they are cooking this sugar with meat or even ice cream where you have uh, a lot of sugar, you have the milk protein and fat all cooked up that's gonna give you a lot of these. And this will basically add more oxidation, accelerate the aging process, create a lot of sticky proteins that get stuck in your arteries, your brain, your eyes, and it creates a lot of other issues. Benfotamine can also decrease your A1C as well. Now, the main way that I used it when I was in practice is for peripheral neuropathy. And that's a condition where you have a breakdown of the nervous system in, in your feet or your fingertips. So you might have uh, pain in your feet or numbness or burning pain, making it difficult to walk. This stuff works like magic. You'd want to take at least 600 milligrams per day and you can spread it out. I don't have any specific benfotamine to recommend. You're going to have to do your own research to find something that maybe has some good reviews. But if you're a diabetic and you have feet pain, this will work like magic. So it's really good for restoring nerve function, it's good for pain, it's good for any type of neuropathies, and it's also good to protect the brain against um, diabetic complications. Because a lot of times a diabetic will have dementia, they'll have memory loss. I mean, type three diabetes is Alzheimer's, so it can actually help that condition greatly. Uh, now, as far as the eyes go, there's a lot of secondary complications from diabetes concerning the eye, and one is damage to the retina. Well, guess what? The retina is all nerve tissue. So benfotamine is really good for the retina to protect against damage. It's also good to protect against the kidney cell called a nephron. So if someone has kidney damage, uh, let's say they have stage three or four or even five, this is something I would highly recommend. And then we have the heart and the heart vessels. There's a certain layer on the inside of the artery called the epithelial layer. And the microvascular, the tiny little blood vessels that innervate that uh, can be protected when you take benfotamine. In fact, if you're deficient in B1, you're kind of missing a, a really important uh, antioxidant and you can develop damage, dysfunction, and then guess what? Cholesterol builds up, calcium builds up, and you start getting plaque in the arteries. So, Benfotamine is very, very important in cardiovascular function and act to protect the arteries. And of course, I'm assuming that you're a regular viewer because if you're not, I'm also gonna recommend healthy keto, okay, and intermittent fasting as the basic diet that you need to do in addition to this because if you're doing this without correcting the diet, it might not work as well. 
I put a link down below for more information about that. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.